Hello again everybody, welcome back to another booster pack unboxing for Larkana. This is the second booster box of Rise of the Floodborne I picked up. It's also going to be the last I've picked up for it because I have most of everything I need. I'm looking for a couple more things. Hopefully we'll get them here today. And I, I doubt we're going to get the same luck we got from the second uh, Inklands booster box, which you will have seen a little bit ago because uh, it was pretty hard to beat getting an enchanted card. Spoilers. So, not expecting that today. I'm going to have to go grab some scissors to cut the tape here, but I am looking for a few more things. Then that will probably do. Uh, if you are still interested in seeing more booster pack unboxings, though, do let me know because when Ursula's Revenge comes out in May, I could be tempted by that. Um, I haven't seen any cards from it yet. I don't think they've previewed any at the point I'm recording this, but I am interested in seeing what they do. They're introducing like a solo boss mode as well, which is quite interesting. But yeah, you can let me know about that. Anyway, Let's get started. All right, I have managed to open it. These uh, open far worse than the Inkland ones. I'm glad that they changed it. Anyway, I don't remember who was the luckiest out of this lot, but let's start with Beast. We'll push this to one side. We'll zoom in a little bit to see the cars. Let's zoom out, that's the wrong button. And we'll get started. It will focus, well, apparently it will focus on Optimus Prime Space. I'm okay with that. And we're gonna crack in. And once again, I'll split it into appropriate rarities. So, here we go. Let me pull back a little bit. There we go. I think it, that's like the ideal distance right there. So we'll start with an Enchantress, followed by a Duke Weaselton, followed by... Oh, I don't think we got that version of Mulan last time. I don't recognize it. Legend of the Sword of the Stone. I needed one more of those, so I'm going to put that in my want pile. Rhea we saw last time. Oops, there we go. Rhea we saw last time. I haven't seen the movie she's from. Uh, we have seen this Donald Duck as well. And then our uncommons, we have Pain. Underworld Imp from Hercules. We have Binding Contract, also from Hercules, I think. Then we have the Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. And then Rares or Better. How are we starting? We're starting with a card I want two more of, and that is fantastic. Followed by another card I want for my Sorcerer deck, which is the Rabbit Ver. I'm just in general, I forgot to mention more Robin Hood stuff, uh, Madame Mim, Merlin. Sorcerers, that's what I'm after from this set. So this is one of the things I wanted, that's fantastic. And the first shiny is a shiny gold, are you kidding me? A shiny legendary, and it is Alice Growing Girl. Although I will say, the bottom of the card is actually a little scuffed. I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but it is actually a little scuffed, that's a shame. All right, started making the piles. That's uh, certainly a good draw, even if the card isn't 100% perfect. It's not bad getting three cards I wanted, plus a foil legendary from pack number one. It can only be downhill from here. Although, that said, there there is an Arthur. I uh, haven't made a green deck with him in it, but I do want more copies of that, so that's nice. We have Owl. We have Sneezy, that's disgusting. We have Fairy Godmother. I think I needed one more of those, so that's good. Lady Tremaine. Followed by ooh, Beast Forbidden Recluse, one of the best bits of art from this wave, I feel. And then our uncommons, we have Donald Duck, the perfect gentleman. Mmm, debatable. Then we have, oh, another thing I wanted, I need two more of Merlin as the goat form, so that's perfect, that's going in the I wanted pile. Gaston, the bar baritone bully, and then our rares are better. It's another card I wanted, I don't think I got any of these in the first Floodborne booster box we did, so that's fantastic. Prince John. And another card I wanted, which is Madame Mim in her human form. I think there's only one better than this, which is her dragon form. And the foil is... Are you, are you actually kidding me? It's an enchanted. Two enchanteds in a row but from box? That's unbelievable. Who is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> that is incredible. What is that look? I should have bought a lottery ticket, that's what I should have done. Good grief. Although I will say again, a little bit of weird trimming on the bottom of it there. The rest of it is fantastic though, but wow. Okay, I need to go get a protector for this. That was, <laughs> that is unbelievable. All right, we're back. I have safely put it inside a top loader. That is unbelievable. Can't believe it, two boxes in a row. And <laughs> it's just, it's, first pack we got the normal version of the card well no it's not even normal because it's a foil version we got a foil version of the legendary followed by the enchanted of the exact same card like they're both alice growing girl that is incredible 
yeah, should have bought a lottery ticket. Anyway, okay, moving on. Keep in mind, we still haven't found any of the default legendaries that were guaranteed, so there's still more to uncover, and I've already got six cards I was looking for. So, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Now, there's Panic. There's James, the best character in all of Disney, that everybody knows, of course, James. We have the Queen. We have a Croquet Mallet. We have Peter Pan's Dagger. And then our... Oh, well, one more. I, I can't count. Benja. And then our Uncommons. We have Bounce with Tigger and Rue. We have Pinocchio, that cool one where he's like riding the lightning. I like that card. And then Dopey. Only got one Dopey last time. I know because I split all the dwarves into their uh, categories. And then our rares are better. Kronk, pull the lever. And Pack Tactics. I think I wanted more of these. I don't quite remember those. So I won't put it in the, the want pile. Hey, we got one of these last time. It's the second foil fairy godmother. Alright, let's move on to the next pack with Rhea on the front. And see what we have inside here. I've got a smile on my face. I just text, well, on Discord, I, I sent a message to my friend. That, you know, hypothetically, because he knows what I got in the other box I told him in advance, because I want to talk to him about like what cards are worth anything and what cards are in the meta, etc. I mentioned to him, you know, hypothetically, let's say I, I also picked up another Floodlands box, and hypothetically speaking, Let's also say that I got an Enchanted right after a Foil Legendary. How much luck have I eroded from the rest of my life? I think I wanted two more of him. No, I'm going to put that in the meat pile, actually. I'm pretty sure I did. He hasn't gone back to me yet. I'm expecting words to be exchanged. Our Uncommons. Last Stand. Minnie Mouse. Lawrence. Eating the, the lasagna. Our rares are better. We have, oh, I don't think we saw this version. I don't recognize it. Yeah. Fancy version of Mulan, followed by Gaston, the intellectual powerhouse, and our foil, shiny, uncommon. Oh, Yzma. I have these in the Sorcerer deck. I don't remember if I had a shiny version, so I'm going to put that in the needs. All right, Beast is on the next pack. Apparently I've eroded the rest of the luck I had been allocated for the rest of my life, in case you're curious, which would explain some dice rolls I've been having recently. Anyway, let's move on. And we shall see, oh, speaking of Gaston, we have, oh yeah, these cards don't always start with a red one, like the uh, the Inkland ones do. We have a Gumbo Pot, I don't recognize this. Hmm, okay. Sleepy, one of the dwarves. Legend of the Sword of the Stone, I think I only needed one more, but I'm going to put it in the need pile anyway, because that's our second one we've seen. There's our Rhea card, I definitely needed two more of this, so there's one done, that's fantastic. Got ourselves a Sardine... And then our uncommons, sardine cans, sorry, not a sardine. They've all been eaten. Mother Gothel from Rapunzel. The Prince, I don't think we saw this last time. And then our rares are better. Oh, speaking of, we go from the Prince to Prince Charming. Didn't see this last time. What's he holding? Can't tell. Oh, and then our super rare. Rhea, leader of heart. I don't remember if we saw this or not. And our shiny. Uncommon is Bashful the Dwarf. Alright, let's try Queen of Hearts pack next. Real, honestly, the the real luck giving thing here is clearly Optimus Prime. Because I have no luck. I know <laughs> the footage may make you think otherwise, but in general I tend to roll very poorly and that kind of stuff in, in games, as I described last time, so I feel like it's it must be something else that is blessing these results. We have Basil, oh, we've got Grumpy, I only had one Grumpy as well I think last time. A second Merlin, no sorry, first Merlin the Squirrel, but I do want it because I think I only had two, so perfect. Put that. The need pile is already very, very large. Felicia, speaking of large, Charge, and then our Uncommons, Judy Hops, I think I only had one of her. Not that I plan to make a deck around her currently, but hey, a different version of Rhea. And then, Robot Snake Jafar, which is just very cool looking art. Need to find a way to fit this in. He is a sorcerer, mind you. I need to look at that. Anyway, rares are better. Gruesome but Grim, I only had one of and I wanted more, so that's going in the neat pile. And then super rare. <laughs> it's a very fun picture. I have no idea who you are, but you look funny. Grand Pab Pabby. And then our uncommon shiny is something I wanted, which is a shiny version of the Robin Hood that was in this wave. Fantastic. The luck is out of control. Let's go with another beast pack. Once again, you can see the ceiling lying down here. That doesn't happen in the England packs. 
Maybe my lot in life is that I'm actually like I've got a, a hidden buff for trading cards, <laughs> but the negative side of that trait, like it has a positive and a negative, is that I roll poorly in dice miniature games because I certainly do that. Duke Weaselton, second one we've had. Happy, I think I needed one more of him just to have three of each. I wanted more I'm Stucks. So I'm putting that in the need pile. We saw two of this version of Tigger last time. I think one of them was a shiny. Prince Naveen. Some more pain. It's going around. And then we have a second caterpillar. And then our final uncommon is another last stand. And then our rares a bear. Cobra Bubbles, which sounds like an auto-generated name. Then followed by Falling Down the Rabbit Hole. And our foil is a foil rare, the Huntsman from Sleeping Beauty, right? Don't think we've seen this one. So I'll just remind you as we open this pack, we haven't yet had any of the guaranteed legendaries. What we've had so far is just, you know, the insane luck there that we'll not dwell on anymore, but we haven't had any of the set legendaries that we're guaranteed to find, plus any potential other ones from the hollow slash foils. So definitely still more to look out for. But, oh, absolutely, I needed two more crabs. Merlin Kreb, as I've been calling it. So I'm putting that in the need pile. I only got one Baloo last time. So that's the second one of those. The magic broom that's kind of like a, a construct. I like that. Saw that last time as well, though. Daisy Duck is our first uncommon. First in this box, anyway. First launch from this box. And this version of Fairy Godmother. On to Rare or Better, Dinner Bell. I think I wanted more of those, but I can't 100% remember for a deck I was spitballing, so I'm not going to put that in the need pile, but it's good to have. And then Chief Bogo from Zootopia slash Zootropolis, depending where you're from. And our shiny is Owl. Queen of Hearts. Let's see what you've got. Inside here we have... To flip it over is where we have another pack that starts with Panic in the disco. Oh, and also making my camera panic. There we go. Right there. Nothing to hide. The first one we've seen from this box. Our second Grumpy from this box. Our second I'm Stuck. I, w I just wanted more of these, so I'm going to put that in the need pile, just in general. Gold Distance. The cool art beast. I think you can actually get mats with this art on it. It's really great. And we have Bucky the Squirrel as our first uncommon. Bashful as our second. Oh, we got one of this Cruella de Vil last time, I think. It may have been shiny as well. And our rares are better. Oh, didn't see this one last time. Teeth and Ambition, Song from the Lion King. And... Oh, a non-shiny version of the Huntsman, followed by a shiny happy. Shiny happy people, you might say. And next, a rare pack. Oh, it's fighting me. There we go. And it just fell on the floor. I'll get that in a second. Oh, we got tons of this card last time. So it's our first Donald Duck Sleepwalker. We got like six of them last time. So not so super happy to see another one. Oh, our third, I think. One non-shiny. Hold still. Fairy Godmother, we saw a shiny of that earlier. What did you call me? Oh, perfect. Okay, I think I still... No, that's enough. That's, that's three. Perfect. I'm this, this close to finishing my first draft of a Titans themed deck and I'm sure it will be terrible and have to be refined but hey at least I'm trying. Got Minnie Mouse followed by eating some lasagna with Lawrence and then rares are better. Honest John who's not that honest from Pinocchio and oh super rare. Namari, I don't remember if we saw this, Namari Nemesis. Neat and our foil slash shiny that can talk. Oh, speaking of which, it's a what do you call me, or what did you call me? Oh, another Queen of Hearts. They don't seem laid out like one of each character on each layer, like the England boxes. It feels more random. Because in the England boxes, I think it is one character per layer, but the order in which they're in might be different each layer. Or maybe it alternates, I never really paid that much attention. Anyway, we have... Is that in focus? Yes. Ray. Nothing to hide. Eudora. Cuz Cole, first one in this box. I think we got one last time. <laughs> this card just keeps showing up. We can't get away from it. What did you call me? Second version of Deep Sea Diver Donald Duck. From Zero to Hero, the song. That's our first one from this box. Is our uncommon. The most diabolical scheme. 
I did want more pick a fights because I only got one in the other box, so fantastic. And our rears are better. I don't remember seeing this version of Lucifer last fight, last time. That's neat. And oh, super rare. Peter Pan's Shadow. We didn't see this last time either. Not so on. Followed by our foil shiny. It's a shiny rare. And it's oh, the card we just saw for the first time. Teeth and Ambitions, the song. I was just reading the description of Peter Pan Shadow there, it actually seems pretty powerful. Now then, let's see what we have here. We have Rattigan, the green version, the emerald version, right here to start with. I think we only saw one of those last time. Then we have a blue basil for you. We have Snow White, we got a hollow of her in the last box. We have also the best art, the uh, Honey Wizard Winnie the Pooh, which is just fantastic. Had enough of those in the first box. So not too fussed about that, I won't put that in the need pile. Felicia, again. Cinderella, Knight in Training, followed by our Uncommons. Isma, I think I have enough of them and I've put a shiny over there so I won't bother putting this one in the, the want pile. The Queen of Hearts, looking like she's doing a final attack. And then our last one is another Robin Hood. Again, I think I needed more of these. I maybe only needed one, but I'm going to put it in the need pile just in case. And our rares are better. Rattigan's Marvelous Trap, followed by Super Rare. Oh, you know, it's, it's the other version of Cinderella. It's the, the her evolved form, you could say. Nice. This, it's cool art. And our shiny is a common. Oh, it's a common. I'm, you know, I'm going to trade that from the need pile with one of the non-shiny versions. You know what there's a distinct lack of so far? The guaranteed legendaries. Not complaining, just to be clear. But it is just odd. We've opened a fair few packs. We're into the latter half now. Uh, just with this pack, I think and haven't seen a single one of the four I believe you're guaranteed. So we should be seeing one soon is what I'm saying. Cruella de Vil, we've got our first version of Piglet, you're better as a pirate, although you do have to lose your eye in war, but whatever. Our second Winnie the Pooh Honey Wizard, we have Minnie Mouse, we have Let the Storm Rage On, I think we only got one of those last time. Ring the Bell, I wanted more of these, uh, two more to be exact, so that's going in the want pile. Hey hey, persistent presence, he's back! Oh, a different version of Rapunzel to last time, I think. And then our rares are better. No! Or whatever, no -y. Not sure, angry looking baby. Oh, yep, yeah, I, I told you. I, statistically, it had to be close to drawing the first one of these, so who is it? It is the fairy godmother, Mystic Armorer. Which I think is uh, sought after a little bit. And our shiny is a common. It's a hold still, which doesn't honestly look that shiny, to be honest. And next, though that laid out, my need pile over here is very, very messy. I'm glad you can't see much of that. We'll go through it at the end when we look at all the, the stuff I wanted, although it's already really, really good. We have Gaston again. We have our first rabbit from this box. Uh, Sneezy, our second one of those, I think. Jiminy Cricket. Boon or Bon, our second Magic Broom industrial model from this box, and our first uncommon is Bucky, followed by another Yzma, and then, oh that Cruella de Vil again, and then, yep, they had to be coming faster with how few packs are left, and our legendary is, it's Scar, Vicious Cheater. We're getting a lot of Scar themed rares, super rares and otherwise in this box. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yep, that makes sense. So back to back legendaries. It is Namari the Morning Mist. So two in a row and then a shiny common and it's started as uh, ended as it started rather with Gaston. So there should be one more guaranteed legendary and then it's down to the foils. Whether or not there's a, a legendary in there, I don't think you can get two enchanted in one box, uh, but you can definitely get multiple shiny slash foil legendaries because I've had it happen so it definitely can happen whether or not it will we'll just have to wait and see so the Queen of Hearts James Eudora Croquet Mallet this I'm having deja vu I feel like this is the exact order a pack was in until we get to fidget here of course I keep on accidentally hiding the rarity with my pinky it's not on purpose let the storm rage on our first uncommon is the first Cheshire cat of this box our first blue fairy of this box uh, I think her first version of this Snow White as well. Then her rares are better. It's the world's greatest criminal mind. First one we've seen of this. And oh, 
Winnie the Pooh having a think. Aren't we all, buddy? Aren't we all? And our shiny is a shiny rare. And it is Gaston. A lot of Gaston themed stuff too. So we're down to the final nine packs. I believe one guaranteed legendary to go. And then it's up to whatever's left of the remnants of my luck. The well is running dry. Oh, our first the knock from this box. Our second version of this Snow White. Our first version of this Elsa. I think I had three of these from the first box. So I won't put that in the, um, the need pile. Lady Tremaine. Our second version of this Cinderella. Fine crossbow. First in this box. I think we only got one from the last one. And that's an uncommon. Card soldiers. They don't seem that uncommon. It looks like there's a million of them. Mouse armor. And then our rares are better. Something I wanted. Madame Mim in fox form. And super rare. Is Mickey Mouse? I thought that said friendly fire. Friendly face. Okay, and oh, it's a shiny legendary. What is this box? What is the shiny? Oh, it's Namari, the morning mist. So, regular version right there, and now we've got the shiny version to go along with it. I guess I'll have to move the fairy godmother over to just those common legendaries, not these shiny ones we've got here. Well, that is lucky. That is exceptionally lucky. Oh, I'm not looking forward to the next dice-related games I'm playing. All right, we have Flynn Rider when he comes into focus, Mr. Mr. Rider. There we go. Oh, first version of Jasmine. This box. I haven't seen much of her. Then we have Happy. Her second Jiminy the Cricket. Mulan. Jafar. I don't remember if I wanted this version of Jafar or not. I, I, I won't put him in the need for now. Four Dozen Eggs is our first uncommon. The Sword and the Stone is our second. Pacha. And then... Rare's a Bear. Sorcerer's Spellbook. I think I wanted more of these, so I'm putting that in the need pile. Followed by a super rare. It's Basil the Great Mouse Detective. Don't really know him, to be honest. And our foil shiny, it is... Tigger. We had one of these from the last box. And then another beast pack. Haven't really been paying attention to who had the luckiest draws from their packs this time. All I know is if you're buying Inkland booster packs, you buy the ones with Jafar on them. Here it feels a bit more split between them, to be honest. It doesn't feel like any one pack has been especially lucky. It sits all across the board of this box in general. Verana, Corella de Ville. Sleepy, aren't we all? Merlin Crab wanted this. I'm going in the want pile, thank you. Go the distance. Tiana, I don't recognise this card. I don't think we saw it last time either. And then we have a dwarf themed packet because we have Bashful as our first uncommon. We have the Queen of Hearts again. Uh, Robin Hood, I, I definitely have at least three of these by now. But, oh, and another card I wanted. I wanted some of the upgraded version of Hercules, the shift version. And there it is right there. I think we got one in the other box. I think we did. So definitely wanted at least one more. And it's a super rare behind it. It is the Queen Commanding Presence. I'm just putting that in my need pile. And the foil shiny is a common. Oh, I got it on my hand. It's sneezy. All right, five more packs after this one. We still have one more guaranteed legendary to find. So let's see if it's this one. Oh, once again, starting with Verena. Verana? Verana, I would say. Nice cat. Jasmine again. Mulan, second version of this we've seen. Chip the teacup. I think I wanted one more of them. I'm definitely using them in one of my decks. I'm putting that in the need pile. I think I only had the two. Mulan. Again, I think, again, when I mentioned when we saw this version of Jafar before, I think I was toying with the idea of putting him in, but I actually didn't. Belle, we got a hollow version of her last time. It's our first uncommon. We have Nick Wilde as the second. Pinocchio, talkative puppet. He's lying through his teeth. And then rares are better. Oh, don't remember seeing this. Dragon gem. Interesting. And then, rare. We have Ratigan and our foil slash shiny is an uncommon. Oh, it's the Queen of Hearts looking as cool as she can possibly look. I think this is our second last packet with Beast on the cover, if anyone is keeping track. Get rid of that. And then we have, oh, or we've only had two. That's not so bad. It's not six or whatever we had from the first box. It's Donald Duck Sleepwalker. Basil, hold still. Our second Elsa from this box. There's that Tigger one of a kind again. Benja, and then our uncommon, so oh, different Tiana. Cogsworth, our first one from this box. I think we had one from the other. 
dock, and then rare to better, our first tuck tuck, some kind of squirrel and armadillo shell. Followed by, oh, I haven't seen this version of Goofy, he's a 10 10? It costs 9, but still. That is a very, very powerful card, although you've got to do a lot of work to get it. And our foil, it's uncommon. Oh, again, I think we got a foil version of this in the other box. And our second last rare pack, and then there's just one of each left. And one of them has to have a legendary, right? It's a guaranteed four, I think. Maybe it was different for this wave. And once again, we are starting... I guess these packs all start with the green, but then for Inklings, they all start with the red. It must just be down to how the machine packs them. Our second Gumble Pot. The Queen. Chip the teacup. I'm pretty sure I only needed one, but I'm going to put that in the need pile anyway. We have Baloo, our second Baloo. This version of Cinderella. And there are Uncommons. Second Cheshire Cat. Four Doug's Dozen Eggs, our second version of that. Snow White, and then... Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, first one of this. Followed by, normal rare, Christopher Robin. And our shiny is an uncommon. Oh, speaking of which, it's the Cheshire Cat. All right, the last Queen of Hearts. Perhaps ever, I have no intention of buying more Floodborne packs after this. Never say never, I suppose, but I don't intend to buy any booster boxes, maybe in the packs if I find them cheap enough just because, but improvise, I think that was in focus, and mm, yeah, yeah, it is. The Knock, Rapunzel, Cusco, Peter Pan's Dagger, Benja, the Blue Fairy, our second one, and it's our first uncommon, Sword in the Stone, Pacha, and then, Rare Bear, Maurice's Workshop, followed by Super Rare, ooh, haven't seen this version of Yzma, it's an upgraded version. I might want that. I'm going to put it in the need pile. I, I didn't see it last time, so I have no idea if I, I really want it or not, but I'm going to look at it. And our shiny is Rabbit, which we had one of last time. I'm saving the Beast pack for last, so this is the final Rhea pack. Maybe it's not guaranteed for in this wave. Obviously, there's still this and one more left, so there is still a chance. But that might just not be the way these packs work. So we have Hypnotize. We have Rabbit. Speaking of him, we just got you in a shiny form. We have Piglet, we have a, bl of a blurry, there we go, we have something I want, Merlin the Squirrel, thank you very much, Boon, Tiana, you know what we didn't get, oh, another card I do want, we didn't get Madame Mim Dragon, we only got her human form in terms of her rarer forms, and then our last uncommon is a uh, Lishang, we got one of him last time, and then rares are better, Sleepy's Flute, don't think we saw this, and there it is. This is the, probably the final, barring any shinies, this is our last legendary, and it is Snow White Well Wisher. Followed by a common, oh, incredibly common Donald Duck Sleepwalker, now in shiny form. The final pack. We've had our lot, all it's down to is what shiny is in here. That, that's all it is, it's just that. So, let's see. It all ends here, and then we get to look at, take stock of everything. So we start with another, hopefully that's in focus, I feel like it's having more trouble as it goes on. Uh, Arthur, green version of As Arthur, and Basil, Rapunzel, Dr. Facilier, Fidget, I think I wanted him. Again, I think I said that last time, I'm going to put him in the need pile. Last Cannon, and then our Uncommons, Nana, the Peter Pan dog, don't think we've seen that one. You can fly, Ellie Leboeuf, don't think we've seen that card. And then, well, the rares are better, starting with a super rare, so I think that's good. And it's, oh, I don't think we've seen this version of Tiana. So it has to be equal or better, right? Yeah. Don't think we've seen this version of Dr. Facilier either. I like your, your coffin-shaped cards. And the final shiny is, it's a common, that's okay. And it's Prince Naveen. All right, let's take stock. Well, what can you say when you get two Enchanteds in a row from two different boxes, from two different waves as well, which is just incredible. I, feel, I almost feel like I need to apologise for the amount of luck that's been on display. But obviously, the best get from this box was the Enchanted version of Alice Growing Girl. Not only did we get that, but we got the shiny version of the Legendary of that card. We got a shiny version of the Namari Legendary, along with the normal version. We got the legendary Scar, we got the legendary Fairy Godmother, last time we got the shiny version of that. 
and we got Snow White Well Wisher as our final legendary. Pretty incredible. I'm going to just move these to one side very gently, move the Enchanted over here. And in terms of super rares that weren't specifically what I was after, I think we probably got a good selection here, above average, even, which is also great. Now, in terms of, I'm just going to move these up here next to the hollows. In terms of cards I wanted or thought I would want, definitely want Madam Meme themed cards. So we have a few of those. Isma as well for a sorcerer deck potentially. We've got Dr. Facilier, we've got Merlin cards, we've got Spellbook. I think I wanted at least one chip just to fill out a deck because it's a cheap card. Definitely wanted Hercules. Needed one more Robin Hood but we got two or three maybe. Didn't get any Prince John's last time, so got a one. Uh, two Merlin Crabs, I'm running out of space here, we'll just put them here. Two Merlin Crabs someplace, two Madame Meme Foxes, three I'm Stucks, including, oh, sorry, four I think, got way too many of them, <laughs> including a shiny version right there. Uh, there's another Dr. Facilier, that should be up there. Merlin Crab, we got two versions of the, the standard cheap Hercules, that's exactly how many I needed because I only got one last time. Uh, I wanted more Ring the Dinner Bells, we got one of them. There's another Merlin the Squirrel, there's the other Robin Hood, this one is in shiny form. Uh, Sword in the Stone, I wanted one more of those, but we actually got two. Pick a fight, got another one of them. There's another Merlin and a Goat. Wanted two more Little Johns, only got the one, not complaining, just as a matter of statement. And then we got another Merlin as a Rabbit. I only had like seven cards I wanted from that first in uh, Floodlands booster box I opened. So not only did we just get exceptionally rare cards, including an Enchanted in general, but I got a lot of stuff I was after. That was two ridiculously lucky, fantastic booster boxes back to back. So I can think of no better way to kind of end these waves of Lorcana off with that. As I said at the top of the video, I am considering doing the same again once the new wave is out, the Ursula's Revenge wave, that's in May. So if you do want to see that, as I said at the top of the video, let me know. Or if you hate me for how much luck I've put on display, yeah, I, I get that. Watch me roll some dice and it'll balance out, trust me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the future for more. Until then, ta-ta for now.